Guidelines for the operating room sterile setup. The room must be free of all unnecessary furniture and equipment and must have been previously adequately cleaned and decontaminated by assistants or designated personnel. The assistant must remove all jewellery and nail polish. After washing hands, using an antiseptic procedure with an appropriate sponge, the assistant must wear a water repellent gown, shoe covers, mask and cap. Start with the disinfection of all surfaces, paying particular attention to the mayo tables. Surfaces must be decontaminated by spraying disinfectant onto a paper towel, starting from the centre and working outwards using a circular motion without ever going back over previously cleaned areas. Sterile operators must remove all jewellery, watches and nail polish. The operator starts the surgical hands washing using warm water. Nails must be scrubbed for approximately 30 seconds and scrubbing of areas between fingers and beneath the nails for approximately 2 minutes. Hands must be kept higher than elbows when rinsing. Hands must be patted dry on a sterile pad supplied in the gown pack. After surgical washing, the operator wears the surgical gown helped by the non-sterile assistant. The gown has a surgical folding so it can be worn avoiding accidental contamination and it has a special cardboard to help you tie its laces. All operators must wear goggles, breathable cap and mask. The non-sterile assistant places the procedure set on the operating table after checking the integrity of the pack. Traceability labels must be conserved in the patient records. Easy opening prevents pouch fragments from contaminating the operating field. Set contents are wrapped in a wrapping drape that will remain on the operating table where the surgical instruments will be placed after setup. Devices included in the set are placed in order of use for a faster and more ergonomic operating room setup. The sterile assistant, with the help of the non-sterile assistant, sets the disposable aspirator system and protects the interoperative camera with a transparent bag. At this point, the sterile assistant uses adhesive films to cover the surgical light. These devices have been designed to enable the use of the engine commands that are transparently visible. Then the physio dispenser is prepared by covering the handpiece cables with the omni sleeve sheaf and connecting the irrigation line to the peristaltic pump. The physio dispenser keyboard must also be protected by a sterile film in order to allow its use by the operator and the sterile assistant during the operation. The patient monitoring systems must be protected with specific covers as well as keyboards used for the surgical bed positioning. Once all operating room surfaces have been isolated, the non-sterile assistant helps prepare instruments required for the operation. Instruments are then covered by a sterile cloth to preserve sterility. Once the operating room is ready, the patient enters wearing a visitor gown to contain residual bacterial load on clothing and a transparent cap to contain hair. The patient's eyes are protected with goggles and their face is disinfected with specific products using a circular motion starting from the lips outwards towards the edge of the face. At this point, the drape is placed over the patient's chest and fixed under the lip to create a wide and safe sterile field. On the drape, there is a label indicating how it should be unfolded. This procedure can be completed by a single operator. Now the patient is isolated and the instrument table can be positioned. After washing the hands, following the surgical procedure, the surgeon puts on the gown helped by the sterile assistant and wears the sterile gloves. Now everything is ready for the surgery. Organic waste and gauzes are placed in a special red bag, whereas cutting instruments and needles 
are disposed of in separate containers. Instruments are placed in an instrument washer and successively sterilized. Guidelines for the dental operating room sterile setup. Proceed with disinfection of surfaces exactly as described for operating room. However, the dental chair must be isolated with special waterproof non-woven fabric and medical PVC. The furniture in the room shall be used by the sterile operator as a support surface to open the set. As in the operating theatre, all electromedical devices used must be isolated with sterile covers so that they can be safely handled. Suction tubes are protected by omni-sleeve sheets, whereas handles are isolated with adhesive films. The patient shall follow the same procedure as in the operating room. Omni.